Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome to Unboxing from Origins, Episode 3. Uh, I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to get because I did open a few things on my own because I, I didn't want to wait to look at them. But I don't like to do unboxing videos unless I'm actually opening up the shrink wrap. So we will be opening up the shrink wrap on Chandragupta, Great Battles of the Mauryan Empire. This is one of the Great Battles of History series. Uh, the series designers are Mark Herman and Richard Berg, of course, and this was designed by Stephen Welch. Um, so this has uh, eight battles in it, a couple of uh, which I think are fairly big, and I, I mean the maps aren't mounted or anything, it it's, feels a little bit heavy. So we will see what we have in here. I'm, I'm not super completist, uh, I don't feel obliged to own all of the um, Great Battles of History games, but on the other hand, um, this is one that I was somewhat interested in, um, and the price from Enterprise Games was fantastic. So. Let's open her up and see what we have. This is a volume 13 in the series. And as usual, we're going to get a, a, a plenty of content in these in these things. There's, there's always a lot of replayability in these games, in my opinion. Um, more because of the number of scenarios than necessarily that the scenarios are incredibly competitive. Sometimes they're not, frankly. Um, sometimes there is a historical whitewash, and the scenario reflects that. But those scenarios will tell you that. Uh, in this scenario. So we have the GMT customer response card. Uh, we have a map. And oh, interesting. Okay, so this is actually a four panel map. Uh, and it looks like it's half of uh, Kashas, 274 BC. And we've got some, uh, some fairly hilly terrain here. Um, so I, I, I know squat about the specific battles that are uh, represented in this game. Uh, I have a vague notion who Chandragupta was. Uh, what we have look here is looks like kind of a city fight type of thing. Uh, so I apologize to any viewers in India uh, or or in the U.S. with folks from India uh, that I'm mangling any of these names because I probably am. Um, so this is a double-sided map. Uh, this is Kalinga. Again, do not take me to be a pronunciation expert on this subject. And here we have the classic Great Battles of History, basically blank map with some water on the one side. So, uh, but this is the kind of, you know, this is the kind of ground that ancient leaders preferred to engage on. Um, so we have what feels like three counter sheets. Now, it's a bit of a misnomer um, to expect from Great Battles of History, the same kind of uniformity across the entire series that you see with the series from, say, the gamers, like OCS or SCS, or any of the gamer series, really. Um, there are various volumes of Great Battles of History that are significantly different than other volumes. Um, one obvious example is War Galley, which isn't even land combat, it's naval combat in the ancient world. Obviously, it's going to have different rules. Um, so we've got some sheets here. I always have a hard time organizing these Great Battles of History games. Um, this one looks like it's not going to be too bad, actually. Um, but three counter sheets. This is on the pretty standard, uh, for Great Battles of History anyway, uh, GMT white core stuff. Perfectly serviceable counter stock. We do have a little bit of bowing, <coughs> which is a little bit annoying, but, I mean, this does not affect the counters once you punch them out at all. So I don't really care. Uh, we've got some player aid cards on very thick stock. Um, here is the movement cost and stacking charts. And uh, so stacking, unless something different's going on, there's generally not stacking in Great Battles of History. If if you are stacked, it's probably a problem. Um, here's some combat charts. Uh, shock superiority, shock combat, clash of spears and swords charts. So I don't see at a glance anything radically different from other great, great Battles of History games that I've played, which is pretty much uh, Great Battles of Alexander and SPQR. So, camps and cities. Here's some stuff for simple Great Battles of History. Now, I have simple Great Battles of History, and um, it does kind of make much, but not all of the series, kind of playable under one relatively compact rule set. Um, I don't think it's a huge attention saver, to be truthful. I don't think it's hugely simpler than uh, the regular Great Battles of History rules, but it does kind of unify everything and tie it together. So we have, I've been at Origins all weekend. I, I am amazed I can even talk. So we have a quite fat 
52 page scenario book here uh, scans the counter sheets in the back um, as usual with these it looks like we're getting a, a nice amount of historical background which is great because I don't know anything about these battles um, there's usually variants and stuff too and and simple great battles of history versions are in here too and I think we said we had eight battles in here we do so and here's the rules so the rules are the more or less standard for great battles of history 36 pages um, might look a little denser than some other Great Battles of History rule books, but it's hard to say. Uh, none of these are simple games, and, and for that matter, Great Battles of, simple Great Battles of History is not an especially simple game. Um, it's not hugely simpler than the regular game. It's just that there are things specific to individual titles that you can stop paying attention to if you're playing simple Great Battles of History. But for me, that's kind of one of the attractions of the full system, actually, is to see um, how those different weapon systems and tactical systems kind of work and interact with one another. So that's Chandragupta. Uh, I am still backed up. I'm getting uh, Great Battles of History titles punched and clipped part, in part because I keep dropping the stuff on the floor and in part because I traditionally, the, the way I like to organize counters is not a good match for the way um, counters are provided in Great Battles of History titles. So I always kind of struggle a little bit with, uh, with keeping these punched and organized. But um, Terrific series. I'm a big fan of the series. Um, love to play more of it. Possibly that'll happen soon. Um, so stay tuned. I've got uh, looks looking like two more unboxing videos coming for you.